plant. Serendipity Farm in Queensland looks like any other small farm, but most of the animals there haven't had the best start in life. Serendipity rescues animals that are injured, have outgrown their families, or are too expensive to keep. They became a refuge because so many animals were rejected by farms. There's always a home available to any abandoned or neglected animals at Serendipity. So Abby, how long ago did you start the farm? We've been open as a livestock rescue for about eight years, but we've been open as a children's farm for about five months. So how old are these super cute chicks? They're about a week or two old. They came from the Henny Penny Hatching system that goes through the schools. Oh, well, that's great. Well, there's plenty of stuff to check out, so we might do that. Absolutely. So what do you think to Chucky Moo Moo? Oh, he's so cute. He's gorgeous, isn't he? So how old is he? He's about five months old. He was born around Christmas. He was actually, oh. his mummy died, and he was left in the paddock for about a week before we got him. Oh. So where, where was he found? He was local. Uh, somebody told us about him, so we went to fetch him. So Abby, what breed is he? He's an Angus cross. OK, so does that mean he grows uh, horns? Well, we're unsure because we don't know what the cross is. OK. So what happens from here? I think he'll stay. Everybody <laughs> loves him. <laughs> he's very, very, very cute. He's lovely. He's actually a little too old for a bottle, but he's our baby. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry they stayed this small forever. That's right. <laughs> Families travel from all over to visit the beautiful animals and support this great not-for-profit organisation. So Abby, who are these? This is Cooper and this is Miss Piggy Pig. And what's their stories? Cooper's been raised by us from a bottle from about a week old when her mother rejected her. Aww. And Miss Piggy Piggy was found on the side of a road as a newborn baby. Her parents had both been killed by a truck, it looked like. Aww. And the family that raised her for four months um, decided they had to let her go. So they took her into the forestry and left her there with loads of food, knowing there was wild pigs in the area. Yeah. But four days later, they went back just to check that she'd left. And Miss Piggy Pig came running out of the forestry 100 miles an hour and jumped into the car. Aww, so then so she, sweet. So then she came to us. So how old are they? Miss Piggy Piggy's about four months and Cooper's about six months old. Okay. So are they fully grown or do they still have a while to go? We're not sure about the feral pig because it was a feral pig. We're not sure of the, the sizing, but Cooper's probably about half grown by now. But pigs don't actually stop growing until they're four years old. Oh, really? So he could be quite big. Wow. So what happens from here? Well, I think that everybody loves these two, so they'll, these two will be staying as well. <laughs> oh, that's great. It looks like they're getting very well. They are lovely, yeah. Everybody loves these two. So, Abby, what happened to Africa? Africa in his prime was actually a racehorse, and then he was no good on the track, so he was actually shot. And he actually escaped, but we don't know how, and he ended up at the Doggers, and we rescued him from the Doggers about eight years ago. Okay. Wow, so where, where did the bullet go? Right in his head. So, where did there? Did, did it come out the other side? Haven't got a clue. That's part of the story that's missing. We have no idea. Wow, mm. so there's a good chance it might still be in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. It's actually just their sinuses at their front. Their brain's a lot further back. So. Oh, that's he's, good. It's very lucky. Yeah, he's a lovely boy. So how old is he? Um, I think he's about 12 now. He's been with us for eight years. Okay. Is he going to stay? Is he going to stay here? Absolutely. He's one of our originals. Oh, <laughs> that's good. What a great place this is. So next time you're in Queensland, make sure you visit Serendipity Farm. It's a great day out for the whole family. There's lots of animals so everyone can have a pat and give them a good feed. For more information about how to support this great animal rescue centre, just go to serendipityfarms.org.au. The orphan animals will love you for it. So for your chance to win a year's supply of holistic slate pet food, go to allaboutanimals.tv and enter the competition. Thank <laughs> you.